car friends, this is Stu with Wheelie Cool Videos, and welcome to my personal Volkswagen CCR line. It's a 2014, and I haven't done a video on this car in, in quite a while. Um, the last video was when I got a custom exhaust. It's a basically straight pipe from the cat back, claw tips. I think it looks really neat. I do love the sound. I'm still very happy with it. It's, it's time for an update. I haven't shot the car properly since we've had these wheels on it. They look amazing and the car is about to change, so if I'm gonna shoot it, now's the time. <laughs> so that's right, big updates. I'm about to throw a ton of parts at this car. Um, it currently has no tune. I've had the car for four full years and have had the restraint not to even go stage one in the car. Currently it's just intake and exhaust and coils, front and rear sway bar, and the new speed trans mount. That's it. Oh, and my forged Turbo Mac wheels wrapped in uh, Michelin Pilot Super Sports 255 40s, which is quite a lot of meat for a CC. I have 106,000 miles on it, four years of ownership, just normal maintenance. It's time, it's time finally to add more power to my CC. And I'm not just gonna add more power, I'm doing a full build on this car, or what at least is a full build to me. <laughs> so I want you guys to get excited, I'm gonna document the whole process, and I'm gonna give you an overview of what I'm gonna do to the car right now. So first off, what am I trying to accomplish with this build? This car is my daily driver, but I also take it to the track and like doing track days, you know, maybe a handful a year. But I wanna be able to take this car, drive it daily, take it straight to the track, and then back to dailying it again during the week without having to change wheel and tire setup, change brakes, do anything. I just wanna be able to take it straight to the track and have a blast and then drive it around daily and not be beat up. So, what am I doing? Stand by. <laughs> <laughs> so that's 200 horsepower, and it's fun, but on track it does feel a little slow. Tracks have a, a way of just making your car feel slow. There's so much wide open space, you can push it as hard as you want, and the bigger the track, the slower your car is going to feel. So I knew I wanted more power, finally. I'm ready. <laughs> I don't want to do just stage one. I don't want to do just stage two. My good buddy Jesse has a TT, and that has a KO4 turbo upgrade. And I made the mistake of driving it one day, and I absolutely fell in love. Now that car has all-wheel drive, so it's not gonna have quite the same grip and dynamics as this after I upgrade it, but it gave me a taste for what the power is, and it's fantastic. KO4 turbo upgrade is a factory S3 turbo, so essentially it's made to bolt right up to this engine, give it excellent power, excellent power band, not a peaky power band turbo, it's just a nice OEM style upgrade. So I knew I wanted the KO4, I started looking online, and to my surprise, there's a million different KO4 kits that you can get. So I was really taken back, I didn't know which model or which manufacturer, which vendor to go to. And when you look closely, there are some differences. Now, first of all, I wanted to use the same software vendor as hardware vendors. So whoever is selling me the KO4 turbo upgrade, I want them to be providing me with the engine tune and the DSG tune. So as soon as I made that decision, that narrowed it way down to essentially only two companies, APR and HPA Motorsports. Now everybody knows APR. HPA is a Canadian-based company. They built some awesome cars. I'm currently running their coilovers on my CC. I bought some parts off of them for my TTRS, and in general, I've had great experience with them. So when I was comparing the APR and the HPA kits, I noticed instantly that HPA has a one-up on APR in this particular platform. They offer an intake manifold, which gives you essentially 30 more horsepower or even more depending on the size of your turbo. So there you have it. HPA has an additional piece of hardware that'll get me even more horsepower out of this kit. So I called up HPA, talked to Darren and worked with Marcel and uh, decided I, went, I wanted to go with their HPA KO4 intake manifold 
and their downpipe. I'm also doing their dog bone transmission mount. I currently have the new speed one and hate it. But I'm going to do a separate video on all of these parts and the install um, through this build series. And the build series is going to culminate with a track day and me testing all this performance on track. I got more power, that's checked off the list. I need more cooling. I wanted the best factory location intercooler upgrade available for this car. Integrated engineering, essentially everybody agrees that's the best intercooler for this car. So I called them, locked it up. Then I also have them sending me their new intake, which I already have a cold air intake and normally an intake's an intake, but their intake looks really, really nice and I really want to kind of dress up and change the engine bay as much as I can. And I figure if one of you out there needs an intake, comment below and I can just hook one of you guys up with the intake. Okay, so I got power, I got cooling. Now I'm gonna be able to need to stop. If I'm gonna be pushing almost 350 horsepower up from 200, I'm gonna need some bigger brakes. So I'm going with the best value big brake upgrade you can get for this platform cars. I'm really excited about it. Again, I'm gonna do a separate video on each of these mods. So stay tuned for the brake episode. It's going to be awesome. Now I gotta change the look up. Now I am happy with these wheels, but they're 18s, they were off my TTRS. They fit great, but they just look a little small. Turbo Mac is a small looking wheel in general. Then throwing that as an 18 on the CC, that's a big car. Uh, from certain angles, the proportions don't work. Rolling, it looks fantastic, but certain angles, it just looks a little off. So I've already got new wheels. I'm going with new speed wheels. They're essentially the best value. Super light, excellent quality, good price. Um, but I'm not gonna just stop there. I'm doing a custom finish on the wheels. And I, and I don't exactly know which finish yet, so I can't tell you that. But I can tell you, one of the finishes that I'm interested in, I was quoted at $1,000, actually $1,050 per wheel to refinish them. So a total of $4,200 <laughs> just to refinish the wheels. Now I thought I was balling when I dropped almost four grand for these wheels. Forged Turbo Max with a custom finish. But no, apparently real ballers drop four Gs on just the finish alone. <laughs> it's crazy. Now I'm gonna try and squeeze out some interior mods. So I'm really excited about the build. I hope you guys are too. Please follow along with everything I'm doing. Big shouts out to HPA and Integrated Engineering for helping me with this project. I have all the parts at my house right now. If you wanna see an unboxing video of a KO4 HPA intake manifold, downpipe, intercooler, and all that stuff I talked about, drop a comment below, let me know. I'll be sure to do one for you. If you got any suggestions on what finish you think I should do on the wheels, I want to maintain or exceed my current baller status. <laughs> All right? So let me know if this was your car, what finish would you do on the wheels? That's the biggest concern right now. <laughs> this car is going to be so sick. KO4 turbo, big brakes, new wheels, ooh, maybe some Recaros. God, I hope it all works out. And to finish it all off, a track day to test this out and see how it compares to before. Oh. So that's gonna do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you're new to the channel. Please drop a thumbs up if you've made it this far in the video and get excited for this build because over the next month, I'm gonna be documenting the entire build process, the installs that are going down at Pacific German, and like I said, finish it up at a track day, getting awesome shots of this car all finished up. So until next time, car friends, have a really cool day. Peace.